Hey, what's up, TV Land? You're in TV Land. You're doing it wrong because we're not on mm -hmm. TV. It's Isaac Six Heart Cinema, episode 12 by my count. Somebody back me up. I got to do this every episode, even though I'm 100% sure I already have the right number. Who's with me? Who's against me? And don't raise hands because this is only audio, assholes. All right, it's episode 12. We're going with that. Uh, we got, what, we got four in the room, we got another in another room, uh, 3,500 miles away? Who's with me on that math? I'm gonna ask for, uh, confirmation on every single number I give. And how long do you think I can maintain this level, level of energy? Like, another 30 seconds? I think, yeah. Five who's, days. Who's with me on 30 seconds? Oh my god, I've fallen into a hole here. I'm Scott. <laughs> Drew's here. An endless circle of despair oh, God, and self-hatred. <laughs> just turned into a mess. And eating the most disgusting 7-Eleven hot dog I've ever seen any one man eat. You, you put this... so much fake cheese on that thing. <laughs> I didn't want to see the hot dog. It was mostly cheese. <laughs> Very little fake meat. Drew, let me explain no, to you. It's real meat. It's real anus meat. There's no way that's Drew. real meat. Even anus, anus meat. Drew. No. Is anus meat Justin? Out? Yeah. Drew Justin. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me explain my reasoning. Okay? Let me... Give me a second here. I normally get the cheddar cheese smoky. Brimming with anus meat and fake cheese. Today, I noticed they had a bratwurst. Which, when I ordered it, the guy asked me one by one which of the ones I want. I said, the bratwurst. The one that says bratwurst. It wasn't happening. But eventually, I was able to point to the one that said bratwurst, then he gave it to me. The bratwurst, of course, does not have cheese in it. Ergo, I had to put way more cheese on it than usual to get my standard cheese fix out of my 7-Eleven hot dog. Also, the guy took considerably way too long oh, to, so get to get you get a, a hot dog. dog. What was he doing? I don't know. It took him like eight minutes to get a hot what, dog. What, what, what was longer, the guy t getting your hot dog or the movie we just watched? Oh, it was way longer than the movie we just watched. <laughs> way longer. That was a short movie. That was, was a that, that was a digestible movie is what that was. And what movie are we talking about? Hey, Justin. Um, oh, Hendrix. Uh, popping the cap on a locale monster. To make mm. you feel... Oh, it's guava. <laughs> Is it? No, but it's a joke that only Justin and I would yeah. get. Oh, way to go, nerds. Well, I figure yeah. we rip off every other podcast and yeah. rip off another one. Oh, it's fucking sports. Why not, eh? With the guys who do sports. I made Dustin sports. Dressler's bed. <laughs> That's <is> so creepy. <laughs> are you both idiots? We are both idiots. Hey, uh, Kelly, why don't you say something? Yeah, Kelly's here. Well, you guys, you guys apparently have been going off your own thing. I'm just waiting, so... <laughs> Picking your spot? Do you yeah. feel like you're not part of the family? Do you feel in control? Are you the black sheep of the family? You're the Chris Farley? Uh, oh my black god. Sheep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you going to do something for the movie but you couldn't think of anything? No, I was going to make a, I was going to talk like Chris Farley. I'm like, I don't want to talk like Chris Farley. <laughs> Is talking like Chris Farley just talking like him as Matt Foley? Because that I think that's the standard... <laughs> What Im a, impression that people would go to for Chris I Farley. people would be, <laughs> could see what's going on here. <laughs> Justin has Scott in a, I don't know, like a head scissors <laughs> kind of submission-y. Yeah, but it's more of just bracing Scott's weight. You should probably introduce a person who's on, not actually here. Oh, he hasn't been introduced yet. They'll figure it it's out. Fine. It's fine. See, it's either Alex or Nick. I'm sure that whoever's listening can figure it out. It's neither. <laughs> Nah, but it is one of them, and it's, it's Nick. It's Matt Shark. Nick, is Matt Shark there? That'd be a long trip. <laughs> From the institution he's currently <laughs> in to where you are? I found a picture of those Grateful Dead bands I talked about earlier. Really? Yeah, the whole time you guys were talking, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Nick from Florida, everybody. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. People are aware of you. And your business. Yay! People are aware of me. <laughs> oh, that's good locale monster. Is it? Let me see. If I drink two, I might die. Let me <laughs> let me taste it. I don't think I want to do that. Drew, let me taste it. First of all, Scott have... already used my deodorant today. Ugh. Now he's trying to drink. To be drink. fair, I didn't I ask. <laughs> those are awesome, by the way. What are those? Those are his uh, pajama, pajama jeans, jeans but those they're Evil Dead. Are awesome. Wonderful. Oh, Grateful Dead. Oh, Grateful Dead. He's an evil dead. Yeah, different. Oh, yeah. Those look like... Kelly, what are those pants you have? Zubaz? Yeah. Kind of look like Zubaz pants to me. Yeah, I, I don't like the Grateful Dead at all, but I do like pajama jeans. 
And I, any design they come in is fine by you. I don't think I know a single Grateful Dead song. Uh, they do... Uh, I don't know if I do either. Neither do I. Yeah, I don't think I've ever That's heard of Grateful Dead. I don't know. You've probably heard it. Uh, Maybe. There's a song about the devil or something. Uh, devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> That's not them. <that laughs> yeah, you don't know. <laughs> anyway. I don't remember a lot of fiddles in the Grateful Dead. Anyways. Anyway, yeah, it was a... He's a fiddler? He's a fiddler. Huh. Games. Here's a here's a here's a Who's James? here's a fun game. <laughs> Who in this room can You're guess James Spader's acting weight? <laughs> what? I, I don't think they do weigh-ins for movies. <laughs> 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 they should because Actually, I can think of one where they did an actual weigh-in. It was Freddy versus Jason. They didn't. Oh, they did. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. On Spike TV. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Spike. I'm sure they. I'm sure they've done it in a, at least one boxing movie. Play it to the bone, maybe, or... No, uh... What's that one with Omar Epps and Meg Ryan? Uh... Where she's his manager. Dangerous Minds. <laughs> That's not <laughs> even remotely <laughs> close. The great, the great White Hype. The Great White Hype, yeah, where Damon Wayne yeah. just spends all his time eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> the Great White Hype is an awesome movie. Celtic Pride? Okay, now we're getting off topic. I think you'll find it's pronounced Celtic Pride, right. and it's about the Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, oh, quick. Ben Aykroyd and Daniel Stern versus Christopher Lambert. <laughs> Lambert. Uh, quick thing him. on, uh, <laughs> on episode 11, that was just Drew and I, we, uh, we talked a bit about Wreck It Ralph. Uh, I know Nick saw it, so he may want to say something quick on it, but one thing I was meaning to say, uh, about Wreck It Ralph was oh, yeah. I thought Wreck It Ralph was fine, as I had said. But the short before it... Oh, it was great. I thought it was fucking fantastic. Yeah, Paper it was, Man. Yeah, it was really good. It Paper was Man so was well done. I loved it. Predictable. I, te- I tend to like their shorts. Of course it was predictable. <laughs> <laughs> I almost like the shorts more than the movie. Sometimes, yeah. It was very good. Very it well was done. very cute. <laughs> Justin, you do not seem as into it as I am, and I think we're going to have to have a fight about it later. Poss- well, possibly in the form of more leg wrestling, which we've been doing for the last 15 minutes anyway. We need more oil. Yeah, we yeah, I'm getting a little dry. <laughs> I'm also sad to say that the wonderful mustache I commented on that Justin had, he shaved it off. I had to shave it off. I had to clean it up. I'm sorry. I am saddened. It'll come back. It'll be back for the playoffs. The first time that there was a podcast and I didn't make fun of anybody and then he does this to me. So, it's taught me that I should just be an asshole the whole time. I am continuing to not trim my mustache along with the rest of my beard and it's just constantly in my mouth. And I hate it. I already quit. So. So what? What's new with you? Games. Let's do build a title. We'll start. Build a bear? Build a bear. We will build a bear. Build a boner? Belly boner. Belly boner. Lady boner. Ah! Lady boner. (laughs) Fancy lady boner. Fancy lady boner. That's a Twitter handle I can get behind. What was on the amputee? What's it called? Swinging? (laughs) <laughs> uh, I'm swinging. I'm swinging. <laughs> okay, for those listening, if no, you're, no, 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 Okay. Build a motor time. Uh, Kelly Summers, you can start because you've been the quietest. The movie to start with is Into the Wild. So ends with in or into and begins with wild. Uh, Let the right one into the wild. Okay. Ah, that almost worked. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's, what's our order? Uh, we'll go to you, Scott, because I hate you. Fair enough. Uh, are you going to give us some of that monster? Nope. Hmm. Uh, let the right one into the wild things. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's my turn, isn't it? So it asks, do you end with uh, let or start with things? Yeah. I can only think uh. of movies that end with things or have thing in the middle. I can only think... <laughs> Think of movies that start with let or end with things, which is the opposite of what we're going for. 
Uh, let them write one into the wild things to do in Denver when you're dead. Ah, very good. Oh, uh, I gotta write that all out. Yep. Yeah, Denver! <laughs> in Denver. I knew I had one lined up for that one because I knew wild things was gonna come up. Yeah, it's got when it. It's a Warren Zevon song, too. You're... Well, you know a Warren Zevon song other than <laughs> Warren <Zivon. laughs> I know, like, tons more. <laughs> and the 30 versions of it that you have in your iPod. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go Dead Man Walking. Not walk in. Uh, so, Nick, you gotta do one that ends in let, or begins with walking, or king. Walking tall. One, two, or three. <laughs> two and three have Kevin Sorbo in it. <laughs> there can't be three. Two and three have Kevin Sorbo in it. What the fuck? They were straight to DVD, though. Yeah. No. The first one. <laughs> okay, Kelly. Ends with let, or starts with tall? Walking tall, one or two. two. What the mm. fuck? <laughs> Two or three. Only two or three. A shithead. One ski or two. Two. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, do I just do the whole fucking Tyler can nope. just start with walking tall? Nope, just do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, Make your own rules. Take, take your pants off. Shake your dick out. I hope this is the right... I hope, I hope this is the right title. Uh, walking tall, the right moves. I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, that's yeah. correct. All. Is that a movie though? Yeah. All the movies, yeah, it's Tom Cruise. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so let let ends with let or starts with moves. I feel like we've established that nothing ends in let. I can think of one. Okay, maybe I can not. think of one, but only because it's on the build a title right directly before this one, and I won't cheat and use it. We thought of one. We thought of one. Fuck me. Ah! Bullet. That's exactly what we used last time. Bullet the right one in. Bop, 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 bop. That will fuck you. Okay, so... <laughs> that monster. Justin ends in bullet or starts with moves. <laughs> the way let's, she, let's... comma, moves. <laughs> so the bullet was a movie, right? So what? Yeah. So we're welcome. There we go. Also, also we'll, on the right song. We'll go to. <laughs> Gah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a lyric, wasn't it? No, that was a song. Was Ohio it? is for lovers. That's what I heard. Mm, oh, it's me. Yeah, it's you. Uh, silver or moves? These are both tough ones. Uh, quick silver. What's that? Movie. Tell me about it. Tom Berenger. Mm, uh, Full start making its own dubs. Tom, Tom Berenger, Kevin Costner. Okay, well, we believe it. Keep going. You shouldn't. I'm totally bullshitting my way through this. The uh, the Tom Berenger sounded like bullshit. No, but there's. <laughs> quite, I know that the movie it's is. It's definitely a cowboy it's a, movie, and right, it yeah, definitely has. Well, look it up first. I don't it, wanna, it's a movie. I don't want to cheat. No, it's Ke a movie. Kelly confirmed. You're good to go. Alright, Nick. Uh, it ends with quick or starts with moves. Moves? Yeah. Um. Ness Quick the movie. D I don't yeah. know if they made that. They made Battle Battleship. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think Ness Quick was a feature. It was the short before Battleship. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I have no idea. Obviously. You're out. Okay. Quicker moves. Quick or move. Ends with quick, starts with moves. Yeah, I probably would have said Ness Quick too. <laughs> Thinking about it. I was going to say make it quick. Every time I think of that movie and it's always the wrong word. <laughs> I keep thinking moves like Beckham, but it's bend it like Beckham. <laughs> uh, moves like, like Beckham. Beckham. You got the moves <laughs> like Beckham. <laughs> Is it gonna get better than that? No. No. Is it gonna get worse than that? Yes. yes. <laughs> See quick window. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> I didn't even register. It was so ridiculous. Uh. Stop looking around. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> the S's are even. Yeah, I know. You think you're stuck? 
Yeah, I don't think I have anything. Scott? Uh, moves. Yeah, you're up, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tough crowd. <laughs> Jesus. Did you got anything? You may not be wrong, but I still feel like that was harsh. Uh, quick. Quick. The only thing I can think of is Quick and the Dead, and that doesn't... That doesn't matter. How about the prequel, uh, which was just The Quick? <laughs> the Dead and the Quick? The Dead and the Quick, yeah. So the dyslexic? The ones that can't read it correctly? Yeah. Uh, and Moves is tough, too. Moves... Yeah, well, ah, uh, they... Yeah, because they didn't make that Maroon 5 concert film. <laughs> Where the concert uh, film was named Moves Like Jagger? Yes. Uh, yeah, I hate that song, by the way. It's one of the worst. Oh, me too. I fucking hate that song. However, <laughs> pay, Payphone favorite. featuring Wiz Khalifa oh, is a good jam. the bomb. Uh, yeah, Drew, I think you were right in shutting me down two seconds into my turn. Uh, Justin? Fuck, I love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It is so funny. Kelly is holding up the DVD to a Canadian-made documentary called Cat Ladies. Essentially, it is exactly what it sounds like. This it's woman here cat ladies. definitely fucks one of her cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does, because she refers to it as her boyfriend. Yeah, she does refer to her cat as her boyfriend. Oh, she's so know. unsettling. Did she put peanut butter on her lady? Oh, <laughs> Let her go. Let it go cats down. don't like peanut butter. That's for dogs. Tuna, tuna like paste? Barbed dick in tuna, there? Fish paste. Fish paste? Definitely fish paste. That is disgusting. Uh, 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 hope, hope okay, she, quick, okay, move on. Hopefully she doesn't already have fish quick, paste. Quick <laughs> in case she hasn't been Gross. summer's eving. Quick or moves, Justin. Uh, I'm disgusting myself. Uh, this is tough. These are both tough. Yeah. yeah I'm out. Drew wins. Go to hell, Drew. You didn't name any more than the rest of us. I put Quicksilver in. Ended on your turn, you piece of shit. So, <laughs> we got Quick, Quick, Silver, Bullet, the right one, into the wild things to do in Denver when you're dead man walking tall, the right move. That's pretty fucking good, actually. That's pretty good. That's very good. That's one of our best. Do we I think it's because we had a lot of long titles in there. True. Yeah, it's, that's only about four movies. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good. Well, Justin's was the longest one. Yeah. Denver! Um, Denver, yeah! Uh, do you want to play another one or do you want to go over to fucking Leonard Maltin? Leonard Maltin. Let's do Leonard Maltin because I think Justin would like to get to his new favorite game. Call it Call it Duty? Call it Duty. No, I meant your wiener in a woman's vagina. I do like that game. It's a great game. <laughs> that what? is a great game. What game is that? <laughs> no, no one told me about that game. Anyways, I'm going to start first because I won. So, Scott, give me your fucking thing. I knew it. I knew it was you. You broke my heart. Can I make a request? You nope. may. Can we move the laptop a little bit closer towards the center of you guys? Because I can't hear anybody but Drew. No. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Fair enough. Uh, we need to project our voices better, apparently. Oh, no, my thing's all tangled. Oh. And you're going to get a... What's happening? Nothing. <laughs> We're pulling the plug on you, Nick. Nick. Nick, you have caused absolute chaos with this request, I'm telling you now. <laughs> there couldn't be more things happening. More things happening and going wrong than there are right now. And the recording device is sliding around. This, and yeah. Yeah, uh, we're gonna is have that to, better? We're going to have to stop and start the whole thing again. <laughs> now I guess we're okay. We're good? Are we good? Can you hear us now? You hear us okay? We are good. Uh, a little better. Hmm. We'll just yell. <laughs> oh God! It's should we all just should we all just uh, put our heads right against the laptop like Kelly Summers just is doing right now? Mash all our heads. Kelly's, together. Kelly's very close. <laughs> I um, can see. Hover over the laptop and scream into each other's faces. <laughs> I give you permission to die. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> not huh. not upsetting at all, Kelly. All right, I feel like I want to let Justin Chu start because I like how Drew, how after we moved the laptop closer to Drew me, moves back. me, Justin Kelly, Drew like moved a block away. <laughs> I'm the loudest talker, so you I'm still an obnoxious asshole. You so. still have to get closer, but then you could see the answers. No one's gonna see dumb answers. They're probably dumb anyway. All right, <laughs> where are our categories? Kelly, don't be so diva. 
I didn't even mean to do it. <laughs> I'm going to let Justin Chu pick first because I feel like I want Justin to play first. Justin, would you like the categories of... I would like Justin to die first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was bad. Uh, good... You guys are all bad at being We are all bad. Oh, me? I'm really bad at it. Well, you're, you're fine. That was okay. These, these two assholes okay. over I here. Try very I'm fine. I don't even like it. <laughs> I can't even feel it. I can't even feel it. Okay, Justin, would you like uh, Good Guys, Bad Guys, and Explosions, which is a movie where somebody diffuses a bomb. Would you like... Uh... Let's go with that one. Okay, well, I was going to say Black Prez was the next one. Yeah. Which movie, um, so there's a Black Prez. I'm pretty there? good at that one. <laughs> Dreamcatcher. Would you, like... Really? Was, was he? Black why, was the, why was I the... don't think he's the president. Oh, well, he, he isn't, isn't he? He's just why a was, general. Why was he's the president That's right, Morgan... Dreamcatcher. No, he was. That was Morgan Freeman. He was Morgan the general. Freeman. He was a general. That's right, he wasn't the president of that one. And the alien comes out of the guy's butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poops it out. Justin, would you like 1997? Let's go with that one. Chewie is just not caring. <laughs> Justin wants his game over. <laughs> well, when you talk about people you want to fuck, it's kind of hard to not want to do that. Okay, this movie from 1997 where someone diffuses a bomb. Uh, three stars from Leonard Malton. Hmm. I accept. Uh, he says... Oh, you, you accept these charges? I accept these charges. It is intense, violent, edge-of-your-seat popcorn fodder anchored by the Hello, main... Hello, <laughs> Popcorn fodder. Uh, <laughs> punch in the dick. Don't punch me in the dick. It is so exposed to your dick. It, uh, it requires the unusual suspension of disbelief, but pays back in spades and apparently has a thundering score by Jerry Goldsmith. Goldsmith! And he has. Holy crap. 76 names. 12 names. Okay. It looked more enticing. Or. In, Intimidating before I looked at it. Ah, so. uh, do I know this one or do I not? 1997, Diffuses a Bomb. I said 12 actors. Ah, uh, can I say minus three? <laughs> Holy shit! Whoa! Minus three? Chewie's not fucking wrong. Uh, to Scott, I guess. Name that movie. Jesus. Big boy. <laughs> Man, I appreciate Go Big or Go Home, but I think you. Been off more than you can chew, oh. and a third cliche statement as well. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere, Scott. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> right in the dick. Uh, uh. I said, I said, I said, it's five o'clock somewhere to another human being today. You <laughs> and I felt like the biggest asshole. And, and also, I didn't order alcohol. All right, Jerry, what you got? Uh, I'm gonna. See, now that I've said it, I You've don't regret it. Retarded. You instantly no, I, go back on I it. Don't, I don't know if I have the right title of the movie. Oh, that's a good start. Let alone the top three actors in order. No, I, <laughs> I know I'm I'm 99% positive of the top three actors. Uh, is it... Oh, fuck. I'm so uncertain of the title of the movie now. Uh, well, I'm going to go with whatever I have stuck in my head because it was instantly buried and I was like, it, it's this or I'm just going to flame out, so... It's this uh, or I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gay. Uh, <laughs> Die Hard with a Vengeance, uh, top top three would be Bruce Willis, Jeremy Irons, and Samuel L. Jackson. What do you say, Drew? All four of those answers that Justin Chu gave. Incorrect. Yeah. Oh. The movie is, in fact... I'll, I'll name some of the important names in this. Alright. I think that was yeah. Jürgen Frunchow, who's Das Boot, you know, German dude. Dean Stockwell, Glenn Close, Gary Oldman, Harrison Ford. Ah! Uh, give me back my family! Is this Air Force One? Air Force One. Get off my plane. Where's yeah, my, get off my plane. Where's my family? Where's my family? Where's my family? Uh, honestly, the movie, I I went into it expecting to be, for whatever reason, like, when he said the category, I honed in on this movie immediately, was Arlington Road. Oh, yeah. good movie. Uh, I want to say that's 99. Yeah. Great movie, though. I love that movie. Yeah. So, that's one point for Scott. Um, I'm going to lean this back so I can doing actually... hard work here. <laughs> uh, so, let's just keep it going. So, let's go... Uh, let's go Kelly to Nick. Yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, Kelly to Nick. Nick. Kelly Summers. Yes. Your options. Presents are jerking yo merkin. Oh, God. Yes. Where somebody wears a pubic <laughs> I can't choose yes. that because it just throws me off why that even exists. Uh, All Bombs, a movie that Leonard Malton gave a bomb to. Okay. Or... They actually mailed a bomb to the movie. Yeah, he I'm mailed so a bad. bomb to the movie. Leonard tried to assassinate the creators. Or Black Prez. 
Movie where there's a black president. Oh, I'm so good at black press. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so good at black press? What is your... Do you have a particular set of skills? I don't know. Um... <laughs> Huh. I'm fairly certain we already did this one, and I didn't check it off. You asked. I know for a fact we did it. If it's, it was in the Black President one. No. Okay. Um, I will go with uh, the bomb one. Okay. Do you want? Let's see, what's a good one? Do you want 1995, 2005, or 2001? Hmm. Let's go with uh, 2001. Pretty sure there were no black presidents until 2008. Oh, yeah, this is Bomb. This is Bomb. Uh, that makes bomb. sense, yeah. Okay, so obviously he gives it a bomb, which is very warranted. Um, uh, let's see. Filled to the brim with bathroom humor, offensive dialogue, gratuitous nudity, everything but genuine comedy, obviously, because it's offensive language. Um, it was a drama. It's not drama. The main actor co-wrote and some... Oh, I can't say that part. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight names. No. Two, four, six, seven... Yeah. Nine names. Sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I'm having a hard time reading. That one was a chore. Nine names, Kelly Summers. A bomb from 2001. I will go with... Go nine. Nine names. Nick, did you hear any of that? I'll go with seven names. Ooh. Hmm. I will go. I guess it's me then? Yeah. Six. I will go. Name that movie! <laughs> you are a great A cocksucker tonight. I'm doing I, the Lord's work. I was tempted to say negative one, but uh, we'll find out. I wish you had. I don't your, know. Your names, Justin, for six names are Norm MacDonald, Adam Sandler. Oh, it's not what I was thinking. Guy Tory. Luis Lombardi, Michael Catton, and Ed Asner. Definitely wasn't what I was thinking then. If Norman Sandler were billed differently, I would have a guess at this, but luckily I'm not involved. Well, I'm involved in that. I'm going to be getting another point in a minute. Your, High your, fives all around. Bam, 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 bam. My bam. pen will write on your iPad, right? Bam, bam. Your I pen. Just... Yeah, you can write whatever you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. On the iPad. Sharpie tip on the screen. Yeah. On the iPad I don't even own. Yep, that's fine. I'm cool with that. <sighs> huh. I... Sound this, sound like, sounds like this needs a Vince McMahon, my wife just lost her <laughs> second straight Senate race sigh. <sighs> <sighs> I have... No clues. I'm... I'm gonna say dirty work because I really don't know. I even feel like normally we build a lot yeah, higher. higher. What, yeah. what if I read you the ver the opening sentence of it? A pathetic nobody awakens after a car accident to find that his body organs have been replaced by those of animals. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The, top, the, the top three were John C. McGinley, Colleen Haskell, and Rip Schneider. McGinley's in that? Now I have to see it, because I love everything McGinley does. <laughs> I was I was tempted to say, uh, I, I don't know if it was a bomb or not. I don't even know if it was even in 2001, but I want to say Van Wilder. <laughs> That's around the right time for Van yeah. Wilder. Well, that is most definitely 2000, a bomb. 2002, and Leonard gave it a star and a half. Wow. Well, that's low for Leonard. He doesn't usually give a... Yeah, even stuff he doesn't give a shit about, he often he gives, gives two. two. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. All right. The next turn. Uh, that is a point to Scott. Well, Scott is... Killing it! It goes, it goes back to Kelly, so... Scott is a... We go, we go to three? Is that what we usually do? We'll go three. All right. Unless Scott sweeps us, and then we'll think about it. No, that's fine. Um, Scott's sweeping us, by the by. Okay, Kelly, would you like Black Prez... Would you like Spank Bank, which is category where it has a notorious nude scene. Oh. 
I thought it was movies you've jerked off to. That's exactly, <laughs> well, that's basically what it is. That's exactly what I thought, too. Um, In a way, it could be. He just He's just not outright He's being classy about or it. Or a movie where the protagonist dies. Oh, no clever title? I can think of one. All right. Mm. Protagonist, what? famous nude scene. What was that one? Oh, it was the movie where pro- the protagonist dies. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Black president, nude, nude scene, or protagonist dies. What's what's the context of the nude scene? Like, is it? It's just like a, a famous nude scene, oh, like something nude that scene. you know was a big deal when it happened. Okay, I'll go with uh, protagonist. No. Protagonist does. Can we call this one from hero to zero? Yeah. It's, it's better good. than nothing. Which Fine, you're bad. Whatever. <laughs> You bastards! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone kind of shivved you on that. Sorry about that. <laughs> That'll teach you not to vote. At least I'm coming to the table with something. It's not good, but it's something. <laughs> Kelly, would you like one from 2006? That's more than most Americans. 2006. Or I forgot. 2006. To write, I forgot to write down the other one, but I think it might actually be 2006. 2006. Two thousand seven. Ah. Oh. Two thousand six. Two thousand six. Two thousand seven. Hmm. Choices. Um. I will go with the second two thousand six. <laughs> oh, I hope this isn't spoilers for anybody. What? Okay. Two thousand and six. Protagonist dies. It is three and one half stars. Ooh. I agree, or would maybe give it four. Oh, I shit. love this movie. Of four or four. Oh. Um. Oh. Let's see what I can read out from here. <laughs> we trying to reflick it, yeah. Ooh, this is a tough one. Oh. Um. Holy crap! Like no joke. There's nothing I can read from this review. Oh. Everything will either give it away. Or has the actor's name in You're every away, single thing. Now. Just, can we go to that, the other one then? Can like, you just say something with the actor, blah, blah, blah? Well, no, because it's written in the sense of, like, like a synopsis. Oh. So, like, everything has to do with plot of the movie. The You're only like, thing I can read is that it's based on a novel by a, by a writer, and then it was adapted by one, two, three, four, five, six people for the screen. Huh. Like, everything Good has stuff. everything to do with synopsis. Um, so, can I go to the other 2006? We can one? go to the other one. Uh, I'll just see if I can. Uh, I don't know if anybody would have got it, so. Uh, let's see. Danny Houston, uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Michael Caine, Julianne Moore, Clive Owen. Ah, yes. Oh, uh, Children of Men. Oh. Children of Men, yeah. But literally, the whole review was just. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks that I couldn't use that one. So you want to use the other 2006? Yeah. I'm Michael Caine. I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> that is exactly what I do not do. <laughs> okay, Kelly. Two and a half stars. Not... I disagree because I really love this Doing movie. Doing it. Too. No. Let me finish. Um, <laughs> it is not... loud and intense. I'm not... Shut up! Fucking finish. Let... I'm not fucking Let me finish. Finish. The thing, with... Um... the thing with Michael Caine is when he gets... Kelly, before you get mad, this is what happens to Scott when you do Ron James. This is my life when you do Ron James. (laughs) The only difference is that me doing Michael Caine is entertaining. (laughs) Hey, I am a fan of his Ron James. He is he is better than Ron James. I think everyone might be a fan of Ron James, except me. Okay. Anyways, this movie because it hurts like actual my... Ron James or Kelly's Ron James. Well, they're they're interchangeable to me, and they both hurt my soul. Two, two and a half stars. I disagree. I think it should be higher. I really liked it. It's loud and intense. Extremely uh, loud and, and incredibly fuck you. intense. Uh, okay. Strong performances and well-staged action sequences uh, would normally equal good entertainment, but extreme carnage and the heavily pounded message uh, makes it difficult to take. Uh, it had five Academy Award nominations. Fuck that show. Yeah, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve games. Spoken until it blows. Uh, look, ten. Ten out of twelve. Nick, did you hear all that? Uh, okay. Oh, nine. Nine to that fat fuck. 
Wait, that's the fat fuck. To this guy. The not, not so fat fuck. He weighs less than you now. He does not weigh less than me. <laughs> nobody weighs yeah, less there. than me. I'm getting there. I'm the whiz. And nobody weighs less than me. The whiz? Yeah. Okay. I'm the whiz. Okay, whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, eight. Number eight. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what, what was the star rating? Two and a half. I'm going to say name that movie. You. <laughs> Scott doesn't want this game to continue, but... Scott plays to win. Uh, Scott is a fighter. I can't be mad. I play to win, too. I'm a... Yeah. Eight names, right? A goddamn Lone Ranger. Uh, okay. Jimmy Mystery... The... S- that can't That's be a real. name? That can't be a real name. He's an Indian dude. Stephen Collins, Marius Wires, Natari Mawini, N-T-A-R-E, and then M-W-I-N-E. Basil Wallace, David Harewood, Michael Sheen, and Arnold Vosloo. Ooh. Oh. Who was the mummy and was Destro? Yes. No. Yeah, he was uh, Zartan. 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 Zartan, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was not that. Destro. I always confuse those two because I'll I'm be, not a G.I. Joe fag. If you don't mind, hey. I'll be cashing my winner's check now. <laughs> Such a cocky asshole. I haven't even won yet. I was cocky after I had a point. 2006, protagonist dies, nominated for some Academy Awards, two and a half stars. It's strong performances. 2006? Yep. Oh. I was going to say Titanic. I don't know. He's hating on Arnold Boss Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I would love to see that movie with Arnold Vosloo in the role of <laughs> Billy Zane. <laughs> I feel like they're interchangeable. Because they're bald? Yeah. <laughs> and they have, those, they have those fairly pretty eyes. And nobody would ever be able to pick them out of a little crowd? Exactly. Oh, fuck. 2006. Protagonist dies. Action y. Drew liked it more than. Yeah. Nominated for five uh, Academy Awards. Five Academy Awards. Oh, Leonard thought that it had too much carnage and it was a heavily pounded message that made it difficult to watch. Oh, six. What the fuck is it? Six. It was nominated for Academy Awards. You said Martin Sheen, right? Uh, Michael Sheen. Michael, Michael Sheen. Sheen. Ugh. Frost. David Frost. Stop. Uh, Wesley Snipes on 30 Rock. What? Michael Sheen's name on 30 oh, Rock. Oh, yeah, it was Snipes. It was Wesley Snipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were saying Wesley Snipes on 30 Rock. I'm like, he's still in jail, Scott. <laughs> he's not getting out of time soon. He's playing vampires. <laughs> no, yeah, he doesn't need to anymore. Lincoln's doing it. Got any Blade decisions? Blade and Lincoln versus Evil? I would is see that. that. I would see that for sure. I I got nothing. Scott is just being a douche. Kakiso Creepers. Not helping. Jimon Hansu. Uh, Jimon Hansu. Still not helping. Jennifer Connelly, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, fuck that movie. <laughs> fuck his stupid fucking boar accent. <laughs> a blood diamond. Yes, blood diamond is in fact the movie. It's a pretty sweet accent in that movie. To be right? fair, I don't know that he's exactly the protagonist, but he is the character that the movie follows, and then you want him to die, succeed. He's top bell, then he dies. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Scott, you ruined that game. I like hosting. Why do we and keep going? Over... Same, why do we keep going in the same order? Because we have four people. Uh, yeah, we, we don't have to when, keep... when we got three, we you know, switch reverse order it, right? Works better, but when you have four, because like often if you have uh, more people, then. And you switch it, you often just keep getting the same two people just calling each other. So now instead it just gets caught calling me every single time. Well, you should have bid wiser, my dear. You told Nick to name it. Should have told Nick to name it. It's all about strategy. Strategy. I would not have gotten it. It's all in the hips. Well, hey, if you want... That went ridiculously fast, but you can do one more. And go the opposite direction so Scott doesn't tell you to name it. Yeah, I'll tell Kelly to name it and win that one. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really uh, sad that Kelly didn't pick Black Prez. I figured he would. After saying he was good at it, too. Well. You wanted to challenge yourself? Because Black Prez was too easy? Yep. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Disappointing. Disappointing. So what's word? What, uh, what, uh. Somebody make an executive decision. What's happening? Thunderbird. 
Let's Nick, let Nick do. Ugh. Let Nick do is, is the call. We will let Nick do. <laughs> okay, Nick, you ready to host? Sure. Sure. Who is this guy? <laughs> Spit it out, stupid. T t t today, Junior. It's a uh, wonder why anyone is friends with on. us. Well, especially me. I've, I, I have been. Uh, hey, I've been 100 percent unlikable this podcast. Like I, I said, I, to say it. I am mad at the state of Rhode Island for not not denying you to be able to leave the state and come home. I should have been detained. They would have. I wish they would have detained you. Then, then Kelly, Drew, and I would have had the most fun for the rest of our lives. Now to deal with you. Yeah, I like how me not being there is motivation to do the most fun things. <laughs> There was, a, there was a small part of me that wished Dan was there. <laughs> no, not in Rhode Island. I mean, hang out with us, because it would have been more fun than you being there. Right. Anyways, Nick, you, know, you can go ahead. I put up a strong front, as I said, but these things Save me, Nick. hurt me tremendously. Breaking down the walls around Scott's small, petty heart. <sighs> it's the worst. Break the walls down! Like a refugee. <laughs> So no, don't, I don't, don't live, live like a chimpanzee, hanging in trees, trees and no, no, eating bananas and and swinging and from trees. trees. Is that the theme from Disney's Ch chimpanzee? chimpanzee? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're Walt Disney himself programmed a chimpanzee robot to be dad. To be the dad. No, no, no. Chip dad. What they did was they Disney went in and murdered, murdered all those other yes, chimpanzees yes, right. so that those two had to be together. Yeah. They had no choice. Okay, Nick, you can host now. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Sorry about All that. All right, right. Um, before we do this, weren't we supposed to have, like, a list of the five most overhyped movies of all time? Hey, we'll get there. Okay, because I do have that list. talking. Yeah, you shut that down. Oh, right I remember sure. that, although I don't have five. You do five. It's I have not two. Hard. Think about it, and we'll go. All right, so which direction is it going in? Uh, I guess I'll start with me because I've entered the game. Sure. And we'll go to Kelly. <laughs> okay. Would you like... If you shuffle this mortal slinky? Where films where children die on screen? Worth it. Or would you like talking heads? Where severed heads speak? <laughs> or would you like canned laughter? Oh, yeah. Horror movies featuring sitcom stars. The joke. Yes, I reused in my categories from last week. <sighs> I like. Uh, I'm I'm a huge fan of children dying. Because we, we saw one tonight. Oh, we did. <laughs> yeah. Did we say that we watched? Piranha no. Who, who cares? We talked. We talked about movies yesterday. Oh, so you can't. You, you know, to people listening, it's not yesterday. Afterwards. All right. All right if there's all right. time, I'm we'll sorry, talk about I'm it. Sorry. I apologize. I recant. You I are can't. right. Everybody hates you on this podcast. I know. You've been an unpleasant guest. I don't know how this. Well, happens. I know who everybody's sh shithead is going to be this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. No, we already have our two shitheads. Yeah. Everybody has to say the same two people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'll take the uh, the slinky. All right. Would you like a movie from 1975, 1997, or 2008? Oh, sorry. The second one was 1997. Yeah. 19, uh, 1975, 1997, or 2008? Okay, I'll take 1997. What is this category again? Uh, a Child Dies. Oh, okay. 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 Leonard says about this movie, it's three stars, 15 names. So he says it's two-thirds of a terrific movie, <laughs> film doesn't know when to stop, and it has silly plotting and dialogue, might have been overlooked in a tighter film. Huh. I will say... Three stars... 15 names. I will say 15 in a very confident 15. Very good. Kelly Summers. Bold opening bid. 13. Zero. Oh! 
Name it. Scott went with zero. Justin said name it? I did. Justin said name it. AI. Incorrect. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. Suck it, Scott. Yeah, it was 2001, was wasn't it? Face AI off. is totally two thirds of a good movie. Yes, that's true. What, sorry, what, Nick? Face off. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Face off is three thirds of a good movie. That's fun as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got my face. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love Travolta as Cage and Cage as Travolta. Yeah, both S- awesome. So good. I'm totally not gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Justin, one point off the bat. It's payback to you, bitch. John Travolta said he named his kid Jet because jets are his favorite thing. Why didn't he name the kid Men's Assholes? <laughs> <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go Kelly to me. Sure. Kelly to me. Alright, what you got? For, is it the same three again? Alright, we can do Cans of Laughter, horror movies with sitcom stars, or Marine Diology, <laughs> movies where people die on water, or we will reuse the um, talking heads. I go with marine diology. Marine diology. Where the hell is it? There it is. Uh, this your choice is nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> well, fair. I guess I'll have to go with 1999. Alright. Leonard gives this movie two stars. Wait, 1999 AD? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, this a, is that Sataki or uh, Hieroglyph? <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Never mind. Alright, okay, so what, what did Leonard give it? Uh, it gives it two stars. <laughs> oh, what just happened? Oh, Andrew's choking. He just choked on his stupid monster energy that he didn't share with me. Play your own. Okay, continue. <laughs> he says lots of wisecracks, but few scares. Uh, brief but tiresome. And Adam Arkin appears unbilled. Adam Arkin. And there are, sorry, uh, eight names. Eight names, 1999. Uh, I'll go with eight. Negative two. Ooh. Name. I did this last time we played. Is it Deep Blue Sea, Thomas Jane, Saffron Burroughs? Uh, no. No. Yeah, I, thought, I think I you used that, that last time. I did that last time for 97, I think. Mm. I feel like it's... I feel like Deep Blue Sea is the right movie. Uh, it's not Deep Blue Sea. I'll Shit. read the cast. Meredith Salinger, Mariska Hardigay, Mariska. David Luz, Betty White, what? Brendan Gleeson... Oh my god! Oh, Lake Placid! Oh! <laughs> Both we we were ju- you showed me the movie like like the an DVD, hour ago the DVD like an hour ago and I just like I made it dance over towards Kelly and I'm like <laughs> oh I love that movie shame on both of you negative two Bill Pullman and and it wouldn't be Oliver Platt whoever, whoever the freaking girl Fonda. was Bridget Fonda Bridget Fonda yeah, yeah that's one I didn't know that was ninety nine yeah I was I thought it was later than that I thought it was like two thousand one so from now on I will never guess Deep Blue Sea. It's got to be sometime. <laughs> It'll come up eventually. Deep, Deep Blue Sea absolutely is 1999. Yeah, I know. I am. I, I remember that because last time it was 97 was the category. I actually had Deep Blue Sea on here for the category last time, but we talked about it, so I took it out. Oh, that's uh, right. Um, that's a shame. Oh, well. It was 99. So, Justin Chu, two points. That's a good stop to that. So, we'll go... Sure. Yeah. Kelly again. Kelly to Scott. Oh, sorry. Fuck you, All right. 
Uh, Kelly will do Shuffle This Mortal Slinky, Cans Laughter, or... What was the other one I had? The Talking Heads, is that the one? Yeah, Talking Heads. Uh, seems it's such a hot topic, we'll go with children dying. Hot topic. Hot topic. Uh, would you like a movie where someone die, a uh, children, uh, where a kid dies, 1990, 1975, or 2008? Uh, 2008. 2008. All right. Three stars. Leonard says, ingenious feature debut. All three leading actors are on top of their game, and Siren Hines appears unbilled. These do not do a lot for me. What, uh, how many names? Eight names. Right, let's go with eight. This is a huge mistake, but zero. You know the drill. <laughs> it, is, is, the, is, the drill you, is the drill you going to minus one? No. Oh. The, the drill, drill is, is name it. You're telling me to name it, me naming it wrong, and you winning. Yes. That's the drill. That's the one. I will try to thwart this by saying Gone Baby Gone. Congratulations, Justin. <laughs> the film is In Bruges. Um, I killed a kid in In Bruges? I thought that was a comedy. <laughs> yeah, so did I. It's the whole point of the plot, actually. Oh, I've never uh, seen it. So. Never, see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> That's why they're in Bruges. Oh, oh okay. So they were just fucking around. <laughs> Well, and shit. since I can hear myself coming through the speakers, that didn't mean to come out as much of a dickhead as it did. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? You nerd? What? Cut it out. Uh. <laughs> wow. So Scott wins three nothing, and Justin wins three nothing. Huh. huh? Interesting. Well, Scott, now you get to host. So fucking get your shit together. Uh, I got. I could another round. <laughs> did you come up with some terrible categories? I have my shit more together. Uh, I don't know. And you have more boring categories that I'm going to hate? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Alright, let's have a... Who are we... Sorry, I was starting with Nick to see what Yeah, Nick joined in, so we'll make him stop. It's got... Talking to my phone. Oh, idiot. Talking to my phone. Alright. What was that? Nicholas Unthankleton. Unthankable. Uh, do you because want... my last name wasn't stupid enough. <laughs> I have made your name stupider. Uh, you can have... Yeah, that was on uh, one of my category lists. Go forth and multiply the fourth movie in a series. Question. What? Only, there's only four movies or just the fourth There movie? might be more than four. Okay. Police Academy. It's, it's the fourth. Yeah. You hear the remaking Police Academy? And four oh. time. Jesus. Uh, you can have Squeal Like a Pig, the films of Ned Beatty. Which nobody should ever pick. Which is why I'm giving it to Nick, because Nick knows shit and you're dumb. <laughs> Because I know one Ned Beatty movie, and it's the one that you know, the one that the title is referenced to. <laughs> you know all of these movies. I do not. And you can have Nick, uh, Mr. Anderson, uh, movies directed by Wes or Paul Thomas Anderson, but not both. Uh, go forth. Go forth. You can have a go forth from. Uh, 1987, 2005, or 2011? 1987. 1987. A fine choice. Who are we going to do, Nick to me or Nick to Kelly? Uh, let's go, uh, Nick to you. Deal. So with this, we are... It's 1987. It's the fourth movie in a series. It uh, has been given one and one-half stars by Leonard. Probably generous. <laughs> uh, it is a watchable but mediocre retread. Uh, marginal movie really sunk by stupid abrupt finale. Uh, one of the actors wasted in frivolous supporting role. Not what I thought it was. Six actors. 
Nick, what do you think? What can't we just like? What's the fourth? It's the fourth, fourth movie fourth in a movie franchise. Is, fourth okay, movie in right. series, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go six names. All right. To Drew. I will say four names. I will say name it. Fuck you, Justin Chu. Drew, based on these names, I think you're the only person in the room who has a chance. Oh, good, because that's what I was hoping for. That's why I said four. You have the great Lynn Whitfield. You have, and I'm so happy I got to say the name, Michael Caine. (laughs) (laughs) Karen Young. And Mario Van Peebles. Yeah! (laughs) Just for the revenge. Just for the revenge. (laughs) Shit. Drew's got it. (laughs) Based solely on the fact that he very recently listened to the How Did This Get Made episode on it. Yes. And they talk about how not one line Mario Van Peebles had in the movie was scripted and how he decided to make himself Jamaican. Jamaican, even though they were not in Jamaica. (laughs) I knew what movie that was, just based on the year. Yeah. I was like, it has to be Jaws for Badge. Like, Jaws for the revenge. If anybody called me out on it, <laughs> I'm gonna call Kelly out on it. So that means it goes. N- Justin told Drew. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kelly to Nick, Scott. Nick to Kelly. Kelly. Uh, yeah, we'll go Nick to Kelly. Back around okay. this way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nick, how about uh, here? Vigo again. The films of Vigo Mortensen. Nah. You're a dick. Uh, <laughs> Quaid's Awareness Month, movies with Randy or Dennis Quaid in them. It's pretty funny. And uh, what else is interesting? Uh, four-letter movies. How is that interesting? Shut up. Uh, four-letter movies. Uh, you can have a movie from 2001, and that is the end of that sentence. <laughs> uh, I'll go to the one with 2001, then. Good choice. You did it! Uh, two stars. Uh, I remember it a little more fondly than that, but it might be a two-star movie. I don't know. I'd have to revisit it. You are ugly. Uh, we got... Why do I write down the number of actors and then not look at it? I'll, God fucking damn it. Thirteen actors are in it. That's a lot of actors. And what can we say about it? It's an episodic flashback saga of a working-class kid. Uh, take the term kid loosely. I don't want to throw you off with that. Um, just a young guy. Uh, but, that is all plot. Well-acted film based on a real-life figure. Only problem is finding a reason to care about him. Two stars, 2001, four-letter title, 13 names. Strong bid. To Kelly. Um, seven. Okay. To Justin. Name. Name it. Kelly gets seven? Uh, eight, you said. Seven. Seven? seven. seven. We got Bob, Bobcat Goldthwaite, Noah Emmerich, oh, fuck. I know what that one is. Emma Roberts, Ethan Supley, Cliff Curtis, Max Perlick or Perlich? I think Perlick. Uh, Jordy Mola. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what this is a four letter? Four movie. letter title. The only person I recognize the entire fucking cast is Bobcat. You know Ethan Supley. He's the fat guy from fat My Name guy, is Earl. My Name is Earl, Butterfly Effects, uh, Mall Rats. Uh, the fat one that's not Kevin Smith. This movie. Movie. Schooner is a sailboat, stupid. I spaced on it. Justin, I'm guessing Bobcat gave it away for you. Yeah. Bobcat in the description gave it away. Yeah. Because one of my favorite lines is from this movie. From Bobcat? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. 
I do remember more fondly than. Was it two they gave? Yeah, he gave it two. I thought I, I, I remember it being better than that. At least. That's been a while since I've seen it. I saw it in the theater, and that was it. Theater. Sorry. I have no idea. Okay, there's no idea. I feel like Justin does. Uh, the line I'm speaking of is, "I can't feel my face." <laughs> Delivered by to, Bob K. Goldthwait. Talk to Billings would be Penelope Cruz and Johnny Depp movie is blow. Correct. And fourth billing is Pee Wee Herman. Oh, that's right. Yep. Holy I God. have seen it, but it's been a long time. I do not remember yeah. anything about Never it. Seen it. When I signed up for new Netflix and they make, or not new, uh, Flickster, and they make you sign up, they give you a free movie to watch, and oh, they yeah. gave me blow, and I still refused to watch it. I will I'm, not. I'm like, I have no interest in watching this, whatever. <laughs> So that's one for Justin, one for Drew? Yeah. I guess, yeah, it is kind of hard to give a shit about Johnny Depp's character, but it was pretty... It's hard to give a shit about Johnny Depp, period. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't really... I'm not really fond Caesar of him. Hands. There's, yeah, Caesar Hands. There's very f- few that I would give a shit about. Sweet yeah. Todd. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> Kelly going to Nick. Why right, Kelly? You got you need to name it. You're gonna, you can wreck it. Uh, Kelly, let's go... Uh, I want to pick a category. Shut up, Drew. I wasn't involved in that one. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Kelly, you can have uh, Best Picture Losers, Nominated For and Lost. Ugh, I'm glad I didn't get the pick. <laughs> <laughs> you can have I'm Cohen Insane, the films of the Cohen Brothers, or you can have Movies I Love. Uh, Cohen Insane. You love shitty movies. I love great movies. I love only the finest movies. You can have I'm Cohen Insane from Three and one half stars. Thirteen actors in it. Garden State. (laughs) Not Garden State. Let's see what we can say about it. A crackling tale of three men whose lives intersect. Uh, Three men and a baby. No. Do you mind an old lady? Uh, adaptation of a novel is a brooding tale of fate set against a stark backdrop, but not without irony and humor. Uh, there were Academy Award-winning performances in the movie. Thirteen actors, three and a half stars, 2007. Cohen's directed it. What do you think? Negative one. Negative one. Nick, it is to you. Negative two. Drew? Kind of got to try it, don't you? I think we all know what it is, but yeah. it's the names. See, my problem is every time I think I know the order, I never know the order. Yeah. Yeah. It's always, Leonard always for, or I'm, he and I are never on the same wavelength. <laughs> Ever. I don't know if I want to give Justin the point or if I want to give Nick the point. <laughs> Nick could get it wrong. Nick could get it wrong. All right, I'll say name it, Nick. It's to you, Nick. Name of the movie. Uh, obviously, no country, no country for old men. First build actor. First build is uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Second build. Second will be Javier Bardem. You're probably the only person in the fucking world who would give those as the top two and be right. Oh, I was going to say, other than Leonard <laughs> Maltin. That was going to be my Because I think I would have gone Josh Brolin. I would have gone Tommy Lee Jones, Josh Brolin, I think. Why, the the Brolin, I think why, would, why would Tommy Lee be billed first? I don't get that. Josh Brolin's in because he's a big name. name. Yeah, but fucking Winona Ryder was billed yeah, before. Yeah, but fucking I Winona Ryder. I that way because <laughs> it's Leonard. 
Leonard, yeah. like we've, we've established many right. times, Leonard is a full-blown alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> who, when he writes these things, doesn't think about what he's writing. Who's the fourth build? Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Leonard yeah. often takes Stephen minority Root. over actual film. Yeah. Yeah, he really seems to. No, Stephen, five? Root, Stephen Root was two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, I guess his role wasn't really that big. Didn't do a lot. Yeah. But what he did was good, because he's awesome. <laughs> uh, so Nick drew Justin on Wait, that. Wait, sorry, who was three? Josh Brolin? Brolin, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. See, I would have gone Tommy Lee Jones, Brolin, Javier Bardem, so I would have got it wrong. I, I, yeah, even if you, had, if you had told me Tommy Lee Jones was first, I still would have got it wrong. Yeah. Because I would have said Brolin, Bardem. Yeah. But that's why I'm hosting, not guessing. <laughs> Uh, so who did what? Drew told Nick to name it. Let's go... I have two. Oh, he has one point. I have uh, one point. It's three-way time for Yeah, one. let's go one Kelly to Justin. Is that uh, Justin and Kelly? That's the movie, I but know. not the order. We need to shoot that. We need to shoot a shot-for-shot shot remake of that movie starring these two. I agree. We have to sing it and dance it and make out. Kelly, you can have... Uh, is there fucking in that movie? You I can have so. zero, okay. zero names where I read you the whole description and the bidding starts at zero. You can have Beatlemania movies with John Paul, George, or Ringo. In the Rango. Title. Is Done. Rango. Not Rango. God damn it. <laughs> or there's Boil in Them Thar Hills, which we've already established is not the correct phrase to be making this pun <laughs> on because it's gold and not oil. Uh... The films of Danny Boyle. He makes some good movies. And by good, I mean two out of three. None of those <laughs> appeal to me. Uh, what was the second one again? Second was... Beatlemania. Second was Beatles. Guess uh, Rango. Okay, we'll go with Beatlemania. Is it Rango? Uh, you can have... Uh, 1995, 1997, Nineteen ninety five, one and a half stars, ten names. I'd probably agree with the one and a half stars. Maybe too high. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Ninety five. There we go. Uh, it takes place in the very ugly future of twenty twenty one. Main character is a world weary courier. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Intriguing premise goes absolutely nowhere as uninteresting characters mouth laughable dialogue against a landscape of urban hell. <laughs> the, despite the computer graphics, this is Cyber Claptrap. Runs about uh -huh. 15 minutes longer in Japan. Important to know. Those Japs love that. Fifteen movie. longer in Japan. I immediately thought the Postman. So did I. But I'm like, hmm. Uh, one of the, the Beatles were named uh, yeah. Postman. Ah, ten actors. Postman. Uh, negative one. Negative one Fuck says Kelly, Kelly, going to uh, Justin. I think I know what it is. But I'm gonna say name it because I have no clue. Keanu Reeves, Johnny Mnemonic, or. Despite your butchering yeah, of that never, uh, second word, yes. I, I can never get uh, the last word. I didn't realize that his name was Johnny Lennon. Is John in the title? Yeah. It's Johnny. Is it's it? not John Mnemonic. <laughs> John appears in the title. No, you played it out as if the title was John, Paul, Ringo, did or not. George. A Beatles name appears in the title, and I see John. And I that, say false pretenses... <laughs> I say Kelly forfeits that point. <laughs> I see John, and after that, villain, I say I say knee mnemonic. Villain played by then fairly unknown Russell Crowe. Uh, villain played by Dolph Lundgren. Oh, Ugh. what the hell is Russell Crowe? In? Oh, he was in some. Henry in Rollins is in that, isn't he? Uh, I guess he is. Who? Interesting cast. We got Ice T, <laughs> Keanu Reeves, Dolph Lundgren, Ice T, uh, Takeshi. One name. Kitano. Who the fuck is Beat just Takeshi? just Takeshi Kitano? Takeshi. I'm looking him up now. Is it Beat Takeshi? He's... Yes, it is Beat Takeshi. Okay. Yeah. He's just billed as Takeshi in that. Sometimes that happens. What the hell movie was I thinking of with, with Russell Crowe? Oh, no, that's the one with Denzel Washington. What the hell movie was that? Denzel and Russell Crowe? Yeah. From the 90s? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Virtuosity? Yeah, that's oh, the one. Oh, good call. That's exactly what it was. 
Yeah. Featuring UFC fighters Ken Shamrock. Nice. So it's a four-way tie for four one point. Four-way tie. Kelly, why do you have those movies on my bed? I don't know. I just grabbed them from now. <laughs> First one's bad. What's the one underneath it? It's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Doom and... <laughs> what is it? What did I even grab? Doom 2. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the... <laughs> the combo four-way pack of Critters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, everyone's got a point just until Kelly to name it. Uh, I'm going to let Drew pick a title and we'll go to Nick. Uh, even though Drew doesn't like any of my categories, so I don't know why he's I so, only uh, don't like two of the categories. Is it... For some reason, you don't like Best Picture Losers, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what... That's the best category. I don't know what your goddamn problem is. All right. I can't remember every movie that lost Best Picture. I can. What's your problem? Yeah, I don't <laughs> follow the statistics. <laughs> You can have movies I love. The other category I don't like. You have spent the past 24 plus hours with me, and you should know everything about me by now. Uh, zero names. And I will contradict your past 24 hours. It has not been 24 hours yet. It is 11.20. Oh, it's so close, though. We can make it. We can do this. I hope not. Or Adrenaline Rush, the films of Jeffrey Rush. <laughs> I want that one. You suck. I Next. like Jeffrey Rush. He's good. I do too. I hate the title. 96, 99, 07. Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline Rush. Oh, sorry. 96. 99, 07. 96, 99, 07. Uh, let's go 19, 90... Six. Ninety-six. All right. Three and a half stars. Seven actors. Let's see Six. what we can tell you about it. Adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush. I uh, definitely can't say that. Why not? Because uh, it totally gives it away. So? Uh, what can we see? Arresting film based on a true story with a great cast, led by an astonishing uh, lead actor in his Oscar-winning performance. 96, three and a half stars, Jeffrey Rush is in it. What do we think, Drew? Sorry, what was it, seven? Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, nine? I will say nine. Okay, and to you, Nick. Seven. Uh, I'll say name it. All right, Nick. You've got the legendary Googie Withers. Hmm. G O O G I E. Good old Googie. You got Go Nick Googie Hauser. <laughs> Nicholas Bell. John Gielgud, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, Lynn Redgrave, Sonia Todd, Alex Rafal Rafalowitz, and you get Jeez. seven of nine. Uh, Noah Taylor is your last one. Oh, that was going to be Jerry Ryan. <laughs> it's not Jerry Ryan. You need the clues again, or are you okay? Uh, go ahead and give them to me again. Uh, 96, three and a half stars, Jeffrey Rush is in it, uh, arresting film based on a true story, with a great cast led by an astonishing lead actor in his Oscar-winning performance. Um... I'll just say Quills. Minus one, Jeffrey Rush, and Shine. That is correct, Justin. Young piano prodigy is pushed to the breaking point by his smothering father is the first line that I didn't want to say. Uh, so, two for Justin. No, no, not two for Justin, even though you got it. <laughs> two for Kelly, and one for the rest. Yep. And what was that? That was, uh, so Justin telling Kelly to name it? So no, Kelly telling Nick to name it. Kelly telling Nick to name it. So let's go Justin, go to Drew? That's the same way. 
Yes. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's go... Me to Justin. Have we done any from Justin to Kelly yet? If not, we should. No. Okay, let's go from Justin to no, Kelly. No, I'm saying let's not do it. <laughs> uh, Again, I get excluded from a thing. Shut up, Drew. Justin, uh, hopefully you don't hate Best Picture Losers as much as Drew. Does. I don't as much, but I'm not crazy about it. All right. Yeah, that uh, will do go forth and multiply again. Let's and, go with that one. Okay. Uh, you can have 1987. It's Jaws 4 The Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can have 19... No, that's a 2000. You can have <laughs> a red 20 as 19. Huh. Uh, you can have 2008, 2007, or 1998. 2008. 2008. One in oh, man. One with the newest. Leonard. Uh, buddy. <laughs> I have to... Okay, if Leonard hasn't mailed anyone a bomb, I'm going to mail him a bomb for his rating of this movie. I hope, I hope I'm not giving too much away by saying how wrong he is with his star rating. So, to recap what I haven't said yet... He gave it a ball. It's 2008. It's the fourth in a series. Leonard gives it three and one half stars. Wow. If it's what I'm thinking of, he's very wrong. It wow. might be the worst movie I saw that year. Wow. Anyway, I'm not going to say too much about it because I feel we may already be on the track. Uh, we'll say it opens with slam bang action falls into a lull of exposition, then revs into high gear for an eye-filling finale. Okay. Uh, eight actors. Uh, did a uh, Leonard go fuck yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. Bidding, bidding starts at uh, eight. And I'm, I'm, I'm just furious at the star rating. <laughs> oh, fuck. Minus two. R Rush Hour 4 came out in 2008, right? Uh, Rush Hour 4 has not come out yet, but will be. Which is upsetting to me. Oh, just a minus two, son of a bitch. Uh, fucking name it. What do you think, Justin? Indiana Jones. The Crystal Skulls. I don't know if I have the title correct. You In may want to revisit the title. Oh. Hey, quiet you. I'll sit on your face. <laughs> Can I intercept this? You close that mouth here. I'll give you something to close it with. Is it a dick? It's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Got into full panic mode. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is what happens when I sort of know things, but... <laughs> Uh, I can do everything but get the name of the movie correct. Why don't you give me the actors? Well, the actors will be one, Harrison, and two, Mr. LaBeef. I well, am going or to... Well, now I don't feel so bad about telling you you don't have the point <sighs> yeah. about regarding the title, because Mr. LaBeef is billed... Third? Uh, seventh. Kate wow. Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. Which is bullshit, by it the way. It is bullshit. He yeah. should be... No lower than third, yeah. maybe second. Yeah, I would. My my thought would have been Harrison, Shia, and Kate. Harrison, Kate, Karen Allen, Ray, Ray Winstone, Winston. John Hurt, Jim Fuck. Broadbent, Shia LaBeouf, Igor Jijinkin. And the title of the movie is Indiana Jones and the Kingdom, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh, the Crystal Skull. One skull. 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 Yeah. But there were several. Two, At four, the Drew. There were Two, several. Two, four, Drew. Two, Two for four, Drew. Drew. Is anyone here okay with the three and no. a half star no, rating for that movie? Absolutely not. not. Nick, you want to weigh in on this? Uh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> the only person that liked that movie that I know was my mom. My mom has very low movie standards. <laughs> it was a movie, so it passed your mom's test. Yes. It was a talkie. Steven Spielberg didn't like the movie, and it's his movie. Yeah. Just, oh. He is the worst human being. That's, yeah, that's it very really is. That he surpassed George right. Lucas as the worst human being <laughs> because he came up with the goddamn refrigerator thing. <laughs> yep. Oh, the refrigerator thing. It's fine. It's lined with lead. Baby, it's cold inside. 
Maybe it's cold inside movies where someone is trapped in a refrigerator. Oh man! Not as opposed Even to Dust Star that, Janitor. That uh, that one took a lot out of me. Kelly, <laughs> stop taking I, my movies. I hope. Oh. I hope somebody. <laughs> I hope somebody wins on this one because that that one just hurt me deeply. Uh, so Get who, down. Who, who told I told do, him. You told Chewy. So let's go, Nick to Kelly. Uh, Nick, what do you think about? <laughs> We haven't gone to three points yet. Uh, Nick, you can have I'm Cohen Insane. Rocket you can have Quaid's Awareness. Or I'm you can out. have uh, Razzie winners for Worst it's Picture. It's 20 in. Fuck, why am I still here? This is bullshit. Why have we played three Oh, uh, Razzie's always fun. <laughs> Sorry, what, what, what'd you go with, Nick? Razzie. Razzie's. Uh, 07 or 2010? <gasps> Wait, this is Razzie winners? Yeah. yeah. For uh, Worst Picture? Yeah. Best picture. Be be well, best picture. Yeah. Best in quotation marks picture. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Uh, 2010. 2010, given one star by Leonard. I don't know if this if this isn't a bomb, I don't know what is, but Leonard gave it one. It's got eight actors in it. What can we say? What year again? Oh, seven? 2010. Worst movie of 2010, according to the Razzie committee. Are you certain, sir, that we haven't already done this one? I am not certain. I was very uncertain. I feel like we might have already done this one, but let's let's play it out anyway. Play it out. But I'm okay. Anyway, just we'll just what see what play us out. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. What the fuck does play us out mean? <laughs> play this out. <laughs> okay. Um. It's a live action adaptation of something. Uh, There's a muddled fantasy adventure plot. Pivots. <laughs> I'll actually say this is because it's just the sentence amuses me. Muddled fantasy adventure plot pivots on efforts by 12 year old would be Messiah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have done this one. Two, we have, haven't we? One, ten. I let, think I'm let, fairly certain we've done it. Let's do 2007. Movie. It's the last Airbender. And it was the last I Airbender. I feel like right. we've done it. Yeah, I think we've done yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't cross it out. So, okay. We'll do 2007. Sorry about that. Could but, you have named the main actor? Could you have named one actor besides, the Slum, besides the, Slumdog? The, the, say, say, <laughs> the kid, the brown kid from Slumdog. Yeah. I couldn't name one besides him. Uh, okay. So, enough of that. This one... Is from 2007, won the Razzie for Worst Picture, and was given the rating of Bomb by Leonard Maltin. It is a hopeless thriller. Uh, I think my brother broke my dick. Woefully inept with an incoherent plot and incompetent cinema cinematography. But it is filmed in HD widescreen, so keep that in mind. You have two, four, six, seven actors. Nick, bidding starts with you at seven. Worst movie of 2007. <laughs> I wish I had an exacto knife in my room so I could reenact that scene for Scott. Oops. Uh, seven. Seven. To me? Yeah. To you. What was the... Uh, wait a minute, never mind. Um, I must say... You said it's 2007? Yeah. It was a Razzie? Razzie for Worst Picture. Okay, what was that? Turning my phone. <laughs> I'll say negative one. Woof! Name. Name. Is this Kelly for the win? Yep. Uh, yeah. Or Justin for the three-way tie. Or yep. Justin for the three-way tie. Oh, God. Should have thought about this more. Don't fuck this up, Kelly. Don't. Fuck up the dance. Oh, I'm pretty sure I will. Don't or wake I'll daddy. You, or I'll cut you. Don't wake daddy. The only reason I said this is because I, I think we talked about it. Is that I don't know if it won the Razzie, though. I hope it did. And Just say right. it so we can end this. <laughs> uh, is it Lindsay Lohan and I know who killed me? Yeah, goddamn right it is, son. Was it? Yes. Oh, wow. Win for Kelly. So, who's second build in that? The mom? Mom and third build, Neil McDonough. Someone with <laughs> very beautiful eyes. Neil McDonough. You are a fan. <laughs> It would be sweet if they built Lindsay Lohan more than once, though. They should. She'd I'm pretty sure Adam Sandler got built twice in Jack and Jill. Yeah. Also, that movie won every single Razzie last year. It swept them, baby. Every single fucking... And there's no way that That's My Boy isn't winning every single one this year. 
I Maybe not female lead female performance, but <laughs> I bet it's not as bad. I'm not saying it's good. I just oh, bet it's not as bad as Jack hey, and Joe. Someone bought six copies, apparently. Yep, some lady. Yep. Some complete fucking lunatic. All right, look. All right, and that is the win for Kelly. Justin's going to be really pissed off. Receive a bag don't... of fabulous cash and prizes. If we don't play... No, Kelly's prizes is he gets to borrow some of my movies to watch and fap at them. What? You get some where, fat movies? Where am I fapping to? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. The, the fucking Daniel Craig walking out of the water. Oh, that? man. The Dude. king's speech. Oh, Colin Firth. I can jerk off to anything he does. <laughs> Critters. <laughs> All <laughs> four of them. There's got to be something in those. What else am I going to jerk off to? Almost don't. Heroes. You need to jerk off to anything Almost else. Almost heroes. <laughs> Almost heroes. Wow. One of the worst movies Kelly and I have ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh god, I was way too close. Oh, yeah. well, I like to throw fake elbows and scare you. So, uh, this was all merely a prelude to our next segment. Uh, Would you man? You're a pussy. I can't help it. <laughs> you, you have puss puss. <laughs> you like you like puss puss. What? <laughs> Kelly is snuggling up. Kelly, Kelly's turned into a homeless man. He's draped a sweater over himself and he's lying on a bear mattress. This is a good list. And by that, I mean Look mattress this. for bears. This is a good list. There are a lot of there are a lot of yeses on that list. <laughs> There's also a lot of no's on this list. All right. Yeah, we did some serious. Uh, yeah, I see quite a few no's as well. I don't want you to be exposed to the list. Yeah, the list they all need to be surprises. Uh, Nick, nice. are you familiar with the game Would You Bang? It's not really a game. It's a discussion. Uh, I'm assuming the premise is you tell me somebody and I have to answer whether or not I would bang them. <laughs> yes, and it yes. doesn't. It doesn't necessarily have to be brilliant at, at this very moment. It's at any point yeah. in their lifetime. And it, you know, and it's it's a, it's a discussion kind of point. And no, not really. But the I, I guess some of them are hard no's and some of them are questionable yeses and no's. Yeah, but what what comes of this, we figured was after we do a bunch of these. We like we fill out a grid for everyone and what they said yes and no to, and then we create a profile based on their yes and nos, and then we know exactly <laughs> what kind of hooker to buy them. I guess <laughs> is where it. This leads. is basically Match.com. Yeah, it's, it's, Bailey's yeah, ice it's cream. Match.com. So Samuel Adams. <laughs> so Samuel Adams. Samuel Jackson. All right, let's get this game rolling. Uh, very first on the list is Sybil Shepherd. Ooh. That's an interesting first one. That's just who happens to be written down on the hmm. list. It's in no order, so... Alright. Uh, Scott. No. Justin. In her prime, yes. Kelly, do you know who Sybil Shepherd is? Not really. I've heard the name. She had a prime? That's <laughs> 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 correct answer, Nick. I will say no based this, off of that. The, sh the show Sybil was her. I, I'm going to say in Taxi Driver, 100% yes. She's alright in Taxi Driver. Jodie Foster's better. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But see, we're not comparing. That's the thing. I know. But I don't know. If you can't compare apples to apples. If she's not the first woman I would bang in a movie, then I, I don't know. Then I gotta really think of butter. Yeah, she's an old lady now. Yeah. She's, so that she's was definitely a, a hag now. That we'll was a two. That. Uh, the next one on the list is any of the four women in the Sex in the City movie, uh, show. <laughs> any of them. Kelly. No. Scott. Okay, so we got foot face, we got... Horse face. Horse face. <laughs> we got butt face. And... Okay, now I'm trying to think of the... Okay, so Sarah Jessica, no forever and a day. Um, Kim Cattrall is, I don't know, 40 years past her prime in Sex and the City? Yes. Um, then there's that... Porkies. Then there's that brunette who's all right. Kristen Davis. Yeah, and who who's the oh and then the, red, the gross redhead lesbian. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no to gross redhead lesbian. I have to think a bit about the brunette, but I think just based on her body of work, no. Justin, no. Nick, yes to Kim Cattrall, circa Porky's or Police Academy. Hmm. I'm I'm a hard no. So that <sighs> that one. that is a point two five. Yeah. Each one gets point two fives. So. Did Mister Big ever commit to? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she fucking whines about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's busy solving murder cases. Yeah, he's, he's a busy guy. My goddamn Donna. 
Ugh. Oh, man. Kelly Madonna. I will unfortunately have to say yes in League of Their Own. Oh. Wow, I think everybody kind of made up their mind until you said that. Yeah. Wow, that just... <laughs> I threw a wrench in everything. Gotta put the brakes on. Shit. Nick? No. No? We're not even in the League of Rome? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Ah, jeez. Thanks to Kelly, I'm changing my answer to yes from... In, wow. But only her in a League of Rome. I'm, I'm still going to say no because the gap is still there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking no. Oh, well, that's a two. That's a shame. It, well, it's that, that, that's a two that started as a zero, so credit to yeah. Madonna on yeah, that one. True. Credit to a, she, one good movie. She, yes. pulled, she pulled that one out. <laughs> Uh, next on the list is the... <laughs> You're a creep. Well, I'm cuddling with them. Uh, next on the list is wife of P.T. Anderson, Maya Rudolph. <laughs> Scott. I yeah. will I will okay. cast an absentee vote for Dan, <laughs> Cause which, is, which is yes. Yeah. Uh, and I will cast a non-absentee vote for myself, which is no and Dan's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I will also say no and dance gross. <laughs> I will also say no and dance gross. <laughs> <laughs> Nick? Uh, I'm going to say dance gross, but I don't know who Maya Rudolph is. Oh, well, take a quick, take a, take a quick uh, look. That's what, I'm, I'm, on the, I'm in the process of doing that, but yeah. I just... just a, a, SNL, um, uh, what was that, Away We Go. Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids, currently on Up All Night with Will Arnett and Christina Applegate. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you, Scott, you know uh, the answer. I gotta go no on this one. That face is fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelly? I ain't gonna let you play <laughs> my reindeer games, games I tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? What is this? My Rudolph, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh! No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I apologize on behalf of the group to you, Kelly? Yeah, because you, you made a legitimate joke and seriously nobody got it. <laughs> I am sorry. That was a good Reindeer Games joke about Maya Rudolph and we are all too stupid. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That was a perfectly good joke. But your answer is no? No! Okay. <laughs> no, it's gross. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next, is, so that was is the a- official score Dan's gross? Oh yeah, I'll put that next to it. Put put one and da- one out of six. Dan's gross. <laughs> uh, next on the list is Brooke Shields. <sighs> Kelly, do you know who Brooke Shields is? Yes, I'm just trying to put a face. She in the name, uh, she plays the tennis. <laughs> That's not. She's tennis adjacent. <laughs> she was suddenly Susan. Oh, she was. Brooke Shields. Warren Zevo was at a show once. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only way you know things? <laughs> you're so weird. You're, you're so weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll say sure on Sunday Susan. Yes for Blue Lagoon. <laughs> yeah, she's good in Blue Lagoon, but 99% of the time, she's got a real square jaw. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go no. She's a manly jaw. Uh, Nick? I like a girly girl. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go no as well. Yeah, I'm the no. It just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Alright, here's a very obscure one that just somehow managed to make it on the list <laughs> of Bo Derek. Ooh. <laughs> that, okay. Ooh. We'll, we'll talk. Who's. Very obscure reference for some weird reason. It's not that obscure. That's not I, that I obscure. guess, but it, what, what, what has she done in the last well, 20 yeah. years? Well, she's, not, she's not in our era, but. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of our dads jerked off to posters of Bo Derek. I bet my dad's jerking off to a poster of Bo Derek right now. <laughs> I, uh, do 63 year olds jerk off? Like, does it, does it, does it go forever or do you, do you stop at some point? I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> Where Scott really asks creepy questions. Alright, so who's. Who I don't know. Whoever wants to answer can I haven't answer. done the legwork on this. Um, uh, Prime, yes. Prime, absolutely. Prime, yes, and maybe even in Tommy Boy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> she's not bad in Tommy Boy. No, she's old. Definitely in bangable in Tommy Boy. I think I'm a yes in her prime. I guess maybe Tommy Boy, too. Nick? I'm gonna have to give a yet another no, and my profile isn't very good. <laughs> Fuck off, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Nick just doesn't like girls. <laughs> Yeah, what are, you, what are you, gay? What are you, gay, you fag? Queer. Hey, hey. Queer. 
All right, uh, next on the list is Meryl Streep. I'm going 100% yes in The Deer Hunter. She is a total babe in that movie. Yeah. That is very early Meryl Streep. That is early Meryl Streep. I'm Meryl definitely Streep. jerked off to Sophie's Choice. <laughs> <laughs> you had to make the choice between doing it and not doing it. And yeah. you did it. And you chose do it. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I, I think yeah, I think like late seventies, early eighties, Meryl Streep is pretty hot, actually. Yeah, I agree. I'm a negatory on that. No, Kelly. Uh. Oh, Julia Child. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. Oh, the queen. Stir that batter. <laughs> I'll say no, but it would. It might. <laughs> If I was lying naked on a bed and she entered in the room to someone announcing, and here comes the Iron Lady, <laughs> then you <yes>. hard <laughs> as a rock. <laughs> Nick, what do you say? Gotta go no on that one again. <laughs> that was a three out of five? You said no? I said a no. I said no, too. That's a two out of five, then. Yeah. Uh, all right, next one is Carmen Electra. I'm a hard no. She's too fake looking for me. She's kind of plasticky. She's very plasticky, but but do I still want to bang it? No, the the idea is not. Never mind. What? What? Well, obviously, I wouldn't say no to her. Sure. Yeah. But we're being we're being yeah we have to be critical. Yes. Hmm. <sighs> uh... Just as a tip, when you go on Google and type in Carbon Electra on the image search, one of the things is. Carmen Electra, no clothes. Yeah, that's it's, probably that's a, what, right? Not nude, no. not naked. Oh, the no wording clothes. you mean? Yeah, that's true. That is kind of weird wording. Nude, naked, no, no, no clothes. clothes. So it's like someone whose whose language is like English is their second language. Yeah, is or searching for like language, Carmen yeah. Electra porn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Car- Carmen Electra, no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you. That's how you have to read that out loud. <laughs> Somebody chime in. I don't care who. I already uh, said no. It, you know, if we're being critical, I'll go. If we're being critical, then no. Mm. Yeah. You're a yes. Yeah. Nick, what are you? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say yes. Actually. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> well, next one on the list is the easiest yes I've ever had to say, and that's Helen Mirren. Yes. <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> I would gladly fuck her, Batman. So, and you have my permission to age. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in any decade. I agree, yeah. any decade. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Treasy, yes. Nick? Helen Mirren. No. <laughs> do, you, do you think we're all fucking weirdos? <laughs> <laughs> because she's in her 70s? <laughs> <laughs> we have the venom pumping no, through she's, my veins. No, because she seems no, spunky. She's, she's also gets finger banged by Malcolm McDowell in Caligula. <laughs> that Drew sure owns does. two copies of. <laughs> which, which I own two copies of. <laughs> okay, next on the list is De- Deborah Messing, which is 100% no for me. Uh, Deborah me- Brace oh, of no. Will and. Yeah, no, I... Will before her. <laughs> yeah, Will's got those nice cheekbones, I'll yes. say. Um, but, uh, I feel like they're missing looked good in something after Will and you're Grace. Probably, butterfly you're, you're, you're probably lying. I don't... Th- As she was dying. <laughs> it was the butterfly effect that she was dying, but I would still definitely have to say no. That's a definite no. No? Nick, no? Yes, no? Make, Megan no, will rally no, before I, her. I think I would actually have sex with American Foreman first. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we've that's a general statement. <laughs> that is a zero. <laughs> and we are, are we five for five on will over grace? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good asterisk for. I just message. really like Eric McCormick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next on the list is Beyonce Noel Z. <laughs> hmm? Noel's hyphen Z. Hyphen Z. Yeah. That's adorable. One hundred percent. Yes. Well, I knew you. <laughs> You're down with the swirl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a yes, so. What? So, yeah, she's an attractive black Shocker. lady. Shocker. Attractive black lady. I am. They're rare. They're rare. 
I'm waiting for you, Nick. I'm a white guy from Cincinnati. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Goddamn right, Nick. <laughs> Uh, next one, don't know if it counts as a woman, but Lady Gaga. Uh, no. No. Maybe if I wanted to get fucked in the ass or something. <laughs> but otherwise, no. I'm pretty sure she has a bigger dick than me, so no. Yeah. She's a little bigger dick than Kelly. Only Domi does. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga's a zero. I'm not a freak of nature like Domi. Okay, here's the one that I said to Scott yesterday mm -hmm. that might be the only woman that can compete with Helen Mirren for most attractive woman over the age of 50. Oh, right. And that is Olivia Newton-John. She is still a babe for pull, 60... Pull up current picture of her. This is... I was I'll say yes immediately, but... This oh. is... No, that's ever messing. Oh. This is 64-year-old <laughs> oh, Olivia yeah. Newton-John. Yeah. Oh, Holy shit. Amazing. Sure. I take her home. <laughs> I wouldn't kick her out of bed. Gone. <laughs> take her home, bend her over a pot roast. <laughs> just let her eat. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a four four yeses? What about you, Nick? Are you looking it up? Are you jerking off? <laughs> I hear fapping noises in the background. Mute. <laughs> did he just mute us? <laughs> Nick, did you mute us so you could jerk off? <laughs> Apparently we lost him. He says Olivia Newton-John broke the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Hello, angels. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Well, are you all standing there? He angels? muted me. Yes, Charlie. You know what I'm going to do now, don't you? We'll wait, Here's Charlie. There, there you go. <laughs> You're back. I can't hear you. You can't? You put on mute. No, I, I... Can you hear me? Nick! It's your mama! What has Olivia Newton-John done to us? Oh, Olivia Newton-John broke the goddamn podcast. Jesus. Her hotness was... Yeah, she's a smoking hmm. 64. Goddamn. I hadn't seen her in years, but... Pretty damn good. <laughs> Well, we apparently have lost Nick forever. Oh. oh. That's okay. Now we're down to four of us. Two, enough. It equals out. Because Nick is a white guy from Cincinnati and hates everything? Yes. Or hates everything black. I yes. Just yes. specify. Uh, Tara Reid. No. Uh, yeah, no. I have a very poor perception of her now because of how gross she's become, oh, that, she's so that it cancels out everything. Can't cancel the body shots? Yeah. See, anything good, <laughs> anything good from the earlier part of the decade? Yeah, the last one remaining. It's kind of lost. Yeah, no, she, she she sucks too much now to have ever been good. <laughs> this is true. Uh, next one, hard, hard no for me. Rock hard no? Yeah, rock hard no. No with a boner? Juliette Lewis. No. Oh, pass. Too much of a retard. Too much of a retard serial killer. Uh, next one is... I don't mean a serial killer who <laughs> kills retards, which is an interesting premise for a movie. <laughs> that is the that is the Hitler of serial killers. Uh, we saw her head in a box earlier, Gwyneth Paltrow. I'll say yes. Uh, yeah, she's super on the fence for me. I could go either way depending on what time of day it was. Um, what are your thoughts? Ignore Scott. He's not paying attention. You're a no? I, yeah, if we're, yeah, we're being critical. I'll say no. I will say yes because she's attractive in Country Strong. Country Strong? Oh yeah. Surprisingly a good movie. You should I see it. I don't think that's true. Country singing. Nope. Yeah, Country rocking. I'm not going to see it. <laughs> Elizabeth Hurley. Uh, yes. 100% yes, because yes. Bedazzled and bedazzled Austin Powers. Bedazzled and Austin Powers, yes. those yes. are the exact yes, two. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. Uh, uh, Kristen Stewart. No. Oh, come the fuck on. Why do we even put her on Hey, there? I don't know, maybe somebody, somebody's somebody got a... Maybe somebody also likes heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you, Justin. Kristen Stewart in Panic Room. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Good. enough. You know what, I'm, I'm going to take this past a zero and go negative one. All right. Kristen Stewart or Robert Pattinson? Our Patton. Neither. I would kill myself. Or both. kill both of them. Both are awful, but I figured 
Uh, either way, I'm just going to be pushing rope anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like a situation where I'm being forced to choose between those two. Yeah. yeah. That's a bad situation. I'm not I'm not. It's a very lie. bad situation. Yeah. Um, Robert Pattinson or uh, Jacob... <laughs> No, Taylor I don't like sure this. Boy. No, this situation is stupid, and I'm not answering it. There's never going to be a situation where I have to choose between those two. <laughs> we have to choose whether to fuck it. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I know. I know. I Kelly, hope the day comes, Drew. I know Kelly's answer only because one of them is a werewolf. Yeah, but he might or a wolf. He might he's feel, a wolf. Yeah, he's not a proper. He's werewolf. Not a, he's not a proper werewolf. He's okay, a wolf. No, no. <laughs> you're not. No. You're not DTF the wolves. No. <laughs> Just so mad at it. Uh, rightfully so. It's wrong. Okay, we'll, we'll finish this row, because there's not a lot left in the row. Okay. Naomi Watts. What? I confuse Naomi Watts and Naomi Judd. How? I don't know, they both named Naomi, and I don't watch either of their movies. I'll say no. I'll, I, I'll say no. If I've got her pictured correctly, and I don't know if I do, I think it's no. She's too plain. But if you want to change... She is very plain. If you want to change my mind... Go I ahead. don't really want to change your mind. You could change my mind, Drew, with a picture of Naomi Watts. Do you really want a picture of Naomi Watts? Are you that desperate to see no, what she looks I, like? I, I, I just wanted to sing Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> she was in King Kong. Was she the monkey? As a <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not turning it, so... Oh. <laughs> I was Gordon Lightfoot doing pop songs? <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't kick her out of bed, but I'm not going to say yes, so... But you didn't invite her in the first place. Yes. Yes. Uh, Rachel Weiss. No. Vice. I'm a yes only, but only in the first Mummy movie. Oh yes, yeah. What? Even still. What else has she done? Give me some. Mummy two. <laughs> Continue. Constantine. Uh, Constantine. Give me the Enemy at the gates. Enemy at the gates. She's yeah. fucking. She's fucking Daniel Craig. Yeah, bang Daniel Craig. Well, you got to give her some points for that, right? <laughs> Which I was fucking they're, 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 they're FWBs. They were FWBs, oh. and no, they were just friends, and they got married all of a sudden. Friendies, yeah. friendies with Bennies. Yeah, friendies with Bennies. I just made that up. I hope that catches on. <laughs> <laughs> I like now, it. now I want to go to Denny's. <laughs> um, Rachel Weiss. Nah, no, fuck her. <laughs> Justin, that was enough for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's two. Yeah. Uh, the much debated office question of Hillary Swank. No. I'm 100% no. She's gross. She looks like a little boy. Even in Boys Don't Cry? Especially in Little, little Boys Don't Cry. Oh, when she's in the hospital bed in Million Dollar Baby, that's pretty <laughs> smoking. Because huh? she can't fight back? <laughs> <laughs> Sister Suicide doesn't give you a bit of a, a, bit of a rager? Not particularly. Huh? Not, even, uh, not even minor chub? Nope. I will say no to female Matt Damon. Female <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What and will you, you say to male Matt Damon? Say, man, you look like Hillary Swank. Really? <laughs> yeah, uh, s- super no, by the way. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was reading. Nick messaged me, uh, gave me uh, his shithead and his plug. Uh, Reese Witherspoon. Mm. I'm a hard yes on this one. Like yeah. a rock hard yes. Yeah. She's a babe. Hmm, is she Does not get a lot of credit. Everybody thinks she's ratty. Ratty isn't the word, but I think she's kind of plain. I didn't say no. raggedy. She's raggedy. I don't know. Plain, but is she good enough at being plain to bang her? <laughs> <laughs> um. So what? So we got like election. We got like Sweet Home Alabama. Fear. We got when she's like no. fifteen. Was she fifteen? Uh, yeah, she's, she's a girl what? here. Is she le- she's legally blonde, Little right? Nikki. Yeah. She's little Nikki? Yeah. She's uh, the mom. Ooh. Okay, so we... Okay. I, d- I feel like none of those really... I think we need to kick Scott out of playing this me... game, because he's taking way too no, long. No, 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 There, I did it. It's done. How many more we got? Three. Okay. Sharon Stone. <sighs> oh. Hell yes, from uh, uh, Quick and the Dead. Yeah. yeah Hell think, yes. Yeah, 80s, 90s, definitely yes. Holy shit. Yeah. Amazing. In a pinch, I'd say yes. Never really done it for me. 
Right. She's even quick in the dead. Not even quick in the dead. When yeah. she only has the t-shirt on. Kelly, Kelly can't even believe you right I know, now. I know, but she's just <laughs> never. Is, you know what it is? Right because there, I've seen too many movies with her with short hair, and oh, I do sphere. not enjoy <laughs> short hair. Yeah, sphere. Uh, Dexter's sister Jennifer Carpenter and his wife in real life. I don't know what she looks like. She has a I... very manly jawline. Well, it's... thanks for setting me up for a no, but... <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's kind of set you up there. But, um... I, even though I've commented on jawlines numerous times... No. Her, hers doesn't bug uh... me that much. However... It's, it's not... It's not Big chin, too. Her, she doesn't have a big chin. Her combination of her... her That's big, a pretty good photo, actually. Her big ears sticking out of her hair and her large front teeth really makes her look like a chipmunk. Yep. I agree. Yeah, I'd say no to that. She is a no so, for me. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, she's a no. She's a yes for me, Kelly, would you say? No. And you said? One out of four. X. Last one is Britney Spears. I don't know how she made it on the list as high, but... No. You know, even even looking back to my, my teenage boner years watching her videos, I, like, looking back, no. She Her eyes are awful. Yeah, she has dumb eyes. She's always even when she was like she looks like she has Down syndrome. Yeah, and even when she was like quite skinny, she always had kind of an oddly pudgy face. Yes, and uh, and and she has and she's just lost like so many points since like what like two thousand three. So coming on ten years, she's been god awful. So yeah, we gotta gotta go. No. Well, somebody call the police because sixteen year old Britney Spears really does it for me. <laughs> well, sure. If if. If an age of Britney Spears is going to do it for me, it's going to be 16. Yeah, yeah. Sure. so yes. Britney Spears is a yes for me. Then. But still, pudgy, pudgy face, Down syndrome eyes. <sighs> well, that's the rest. That's the end of that game for today. Yeah. And that's the end of the podcast. Because the absurd hotness of Olivia Newton-John at age 64 killed Nick. And the fact that we did three rounds of Leonard, which is... Hey, you need to calm down. There's three people hosting. Hey, Bill Cosby did six rounds of Leonard. That's what... Leonard Part 6 was about, right? Hey, Kelly, your favorite person. Tag some pictures on Facebook. Who's my favorite person? Somebody's girlfriend. Uh, Anyways, so Nick Nick has given no, me his, um, fucks. his fucking, whatchamacallits, his plugs. <laughs> uh, he says, sunburntdonut.com, and he said, December 1st for Dude and a Robot. I right. guess that's the thing he filmed and showed us earlier. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything to plug but my Twitter and that there will... I said on the last episode that there will be an announcement soon. There will still be an announcement soon, but it won't be for a little while. Give us a break. We're only recording this 24 hours after episode 11. But this will be out a week plus after the other one. Yeah. So, so just, suck just, a wiener. Just back back the fuck off, guys. Leave us leave us alone for a while. We're We're, we're working. Kelly has nothing to plug because you can't plug the gym. And Justin has nothing to plug because... Can't plug video games, I already do that. I have nothing, so Justin, if you have anything to plug, you can no, plug. I, okay. I, I, I was going to say, I have nothing. Plug Lego. You're going to plug Lego? Yeah. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Lego. Oh, my Get God. it. All right, well... As always... Uh, don't ask me. I don't care. I don't give a shit what you have to plug. Piece uh, of shit. <laughs> fine, Scott, what do you have to plug? Uh, yourmoviesucks.org and uh, youtube.com slash beyondwrestling. I'm going to be in some matches on it soon, so stick around. Are you done? Yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I'm sorry I said two things. It took forever. I'm, I know. Okay, well, as always, Nick says his shithead is Olivia Newton-John for ruining the podcast. <laughs> sure. Uh, my, my shithead... Well, I'm sure Scott's going to use the other one. So my shithead is the trailer and the entire concept and just the movie in general of World War Z is a shithead. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Somebody say theirs. Kelly, say a shithead. Quad. Your quad is a shithead. My left quad is a shithead. Go. Are you Are you gonna go last? Yeah. Oh. Scott. Well, did, uh... Scott feels he's the superior being. How, well, uh, I went how, first how, last how, time, and you said how, it was too good. So. How uh, How convenient that Scott should go last because he's my shithead. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I'll, no, I'll, no, you'll always be my shithead. <laughs> I'll take the blame. I'll, I'll, I'll take the role of shithead this episode. I, I was <laughs> definitely unlikable for reasons I'm not sure. Uh, and as always, uh, Mitch Steinberg and Nick Price, who stood us up to see Doug Loves Movies this afternoon, is a shithead. Yeah, seriously, fuck you guys. <laughs>